Right, now we finish the configuration and the management IP addresses, we can now connect via PuTTY. So if we put in the IP address that we set up, uh, log on as root, there's no password to start with. This will give us a PuTTY session to our first SAN. And this gives us a putty session to our second SAN. The first thing we want to do is make sure that the high availability is set up correctly. So we issue the command CF status. And this lets us know that there is no failover enabled at the moment, but there is a connection between the two physical SANs. And if we do the same on the second SAN, we will see the same setup. So the first thing to do is to enable high availability. And we do this by issuing the CF enable command. If we now do CF status, we can see that the controller failover is configured. And if we do the same one here, we see the failover is enabled there. Now that we've successfully set up the high availability, we have a good opportunity to test how the takeover and give back functionality works. It's a good idea to test this while we still got the SAN in a lab environment, um, so we're familiar with it before we go into production. There's two real scenarios where the high availability takeover will be required. One is when we're gonna manually take over high availability due to needing to do some kind of maintenance on the physical hardware of SAN2, such as a firmware upgrade. The other scenario is if there's a hardware failure on one of the SANs, then SAN1 will automatically take over control. We're going to have a look at first how to do a manual takeover. We first check to make sure that both the SANs CF status is correct. And we can see that this is up and running on both of them. What we're gonna do is just bring up a ping box have another command prompt So we're pinging the management port on both the SANs. Okay, so we can see that both management ports are pingable. What we're now gonna do is take over SAN2 onto SAN1. We do this by issuing a CF take over command. Now, because SAN2 is up and running at the moment, it's gonna perform a graceful shutdown of the physical hardware of SAN2. The trick here is to keep an eye on the pinging command prompts. As we can see here, for a very split second, SAN2 timed out. And this was the time that the SAN1 took over operation. Now, if we look at SAN1, we can now see that it indicates it's taken over control of SAN1 by the notation of takeover. We can actually perform any kind of management duties or command prompts to SAN2 by simply typing the word partner. And you can see the notated of SAN2 on SAN1. Now, if we issue any kind of aggregate or show disk kind of command, this is as though we were actually sitting at SAN2. At this point, we can perform our maintenance jobs on SAN2, knowing that SAN1 is serving the data from both SAN1 and SAN2. This will increase the CPU activity on SAN1, is having to process the traffic for SAN1 and SAN2. Also, there is the possibility that we could overload our 10 gigabit connection. And that's why it's important to manage the maintenance processes of uh, the takeovers in times where there's lower activity on the SAN. Now that we've finished our maintenance task, we need to give back control to SAN2. We simply issue a CF give back command. Now, sometimes it does not allow us to give back straight away and we have to issue the command twice. 
mistake here. I'm trying to give back while I'm while I'm logged on as SAN2. I need to switch back to SAN1 first. Right, now I'm back at the SAN1 command prompt. It makes sense that only SAN1 can give back control to SAN2. So we type CF give back. Okay, and this will now give back control to SAN1. Again, if we watch here, we'll see we've got a short timeout, only for literally a couple of seconds, and now we can see that SAN2 has taken control back. If we have a look here, we can see we've lost that takeover command. If I just close the command prompts, we can see that this was shut down, but we restart a session. We see SAN1 and SAN2 are now working independently of each other. I'm James Sillett and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can contact me by any of the means shown below.